Hello everybody, it's me. I'm back again. We are playing Mouse Cursor. Um, it's been a while since I have made any videos, just had a lot of stuff going on IRL. Um, but I'm really excited to get back to this super cute game, which has been updating this entire time. There has been several updates, which I have downloaded in the meantime. I think it's been like two weeks since I just about two weeks since I last played this game and there was at least three updates I think that I noticed um, in that time period at least so there might have been even ones that I haven't noticed so the dev has been like actively um, updating and making this game better and better and I'm just so excited to see it develop and see how it goes this is honestly oops this is honestly one of my favorite games um, that I've been playing so like, hats off, Dev. This is great. Um, let's see here. What shall we do? Putting a bomb on here would be good. And increasing the speed would be good. A stalking clock. Hmm. Our backpack is also small, interestingly. I wonder if there is now a way to expand this, because I feel like there used to be more slots here. Also, did the color scheme change here? Something's different on this screen. All right, let's buy some bombs and put it in our hollow arrows. And uh, since we don't have the money, we'll speed up our arrows. And now we should get something that looks like that, which I think is just fine. Um, yeah, let's go to the next place. We have an event, which is a bunch of spiders, my least favorite enemy because they target me so well. Um, well, actually, my least favorite enemy are the bees. This is my second least favorite enemy. I mean, the fact that I don't like the enemies, though, means that they're good enemies, so... Like, there's something so charming about this game that, you know, it's... It, it's not easy, at least for someone like me, but I think that it's got a lot of great potential in it, and I'm so happy to be playing it again. Um, now what do we want to do here? Do we want to take the two shops or the one shop? I think we want to take the two shops. Let's see what we get here. This is new. A long dagger. It casts secret projectiles when it collides with an enemy. Interesting. This is a nail. Casts secret projectiles more often the slower it's moving. Okay, I feel like now this makes sense because before, I don't think it, I think it was like when it's not moving as opposed to the slower it's moving. So I'm not sure like it was always moving. How would you ever, like, how would you ever do that? So, um, I'm kind of tempted to just take this one. We can't really do anything with this long dagger though. Actually, I will, you know what, I'll take the nail, because that'll leave us with some money. Um, we'll be able to put a slow modifier on there at some point. We can't afford anything else. I think elastic shots is also very interesting. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so this one will just, if something comes close to us, we'll be able to do something about that. Okay, let's go. And let's see what we're doing here. Whoa, that's going to be a lot of... Okay, whoa. That's a lot, a lot of stuff happening. I do think that the visibility fixes have been really good. I do find... I don't know what's different between the last time and this time. I Maybe I'm just more tired. I do find it to be a little bit more distracting today. But, whoa, 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 what the heck? <laughs> um, I can't believe I survived that. Okay, okay. We're doing it. See, I really think that because I'm surviving so much better now, I think the visibility problem has really, really improved so, so much. And I'm so grateful to the dev for addressing that issue. Um, because, yeah, it just feels so much better now. A haunting clock of assault increases attack speed versus spell slots. Oh, so this is just like a one and done. It moves towards the nearest enemy and it explodes. <laughs> that could be just fun to have. 
Increased speed. I've never done this container bag. Contas contain cast the contained spells repeatedly on a timer. Interesting. Um, this one is just funny, so I kind of want to just take it and see what it does. Um, and since we have some money, we'll do an explosion with a bomb because I think that what it's going to do is like immediately set off the bombs, which I think is a good thing. Yeah, so that that's interesting. That's an interesting little dynamic we have going into the boss. I really do need some shields though, otherwise we're just not going to survive. Oh dear, okay, 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 we're doing okay. Now, the haunting clock is moving towards it, and it's doing great damage, but um, it doesn't mean that it's like, oops. It doesn't mean that it's just like an automatic win either, because it is a little bit faster. The boss is a little bit faster than the clock. Alright, curse thyself and curse thine enemy. Um, find two hearts every three unexplored unknown rooms. Interesting. Increases the number of shops in the item by one, or the level. Let's increase the shop items. Enemy projectiles move faster, the enemies move faster, or we get more bounces. Let's do enemies move faster. And let's go into our next shop. That's so fun to watch. Okay, let's see what we have here. Uh, bouncy shield. Casts equip projectiles when it collides with things that it bounces around the room. I mean, this one could be good. We do need something. Gunpowder trail. Rolling projectile. Impact detonator. Co creates an explosion upon touching enemies. I kind of like that one for this. Oh, it's a modifier. Oh, no. Okay, well, um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Um, does that work? What does that do? Oops, I didn't mean to go there. What does that do? Okay, so when it hits things, it just explodes it. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll give this a try. We'll see what happens. Which way shall we go? Oh, there's an elite right there. But yeah, let's go up this way. Um, We have increased bouncing projectiles, which is not good. Oh, the projectiles are of a different shape this time, which is very interesting. Um, I honestly could not see any of the enemies just now. Oh, we have a chest. This is new. This is very exciting. Anything left here is lost. Uh, it's a relic. Just sell it. Who would pay for this junk? Okay, we'll put it in our backpack. I mean, but it says... Okay, relics can only be placed in the backpack. Okay, you know what? I like that. That's like extra money for us later. And we kind of cleared out that room super, super easy. So, yeah, that was good. Okay, liked that very much. I'm also liking my build. I think that the... Um, Different shaped projectiles are very interesting. It gives like a totally new visual dynamic. I'm losing all my money. I totally lost so much money on this room. Um, but I'm a little bit overwhelmed visually again. I have no idea what is hitting what. <laughs> oh, I should have gotten so much more money for this level. Okay, but it's okay. We made it. What's important is we didn't die. All right, um, we're gonna have quick shots, which is so scary. Oh no, okay, yeah, um, yeah, this is where I died. Okay, let's restart. I was not expecting the, uh, oh, there's an endless version too. I, I really wasn't expecting the, um, the oval-shaped projectiles from the enemies, but I do think it was really fun. Okay. Um, let's go. Let's do another. Do. Oh, my god. Okay. Yeah, you know what? We're good. Let's go to our shop. To our shoppy shop. What do we have here? We have a roller. We have projectile. 
We have a slow modifier. Talk of Assault. Increases attack speed, decreases spell slots. Cast projectiles four times every so often. I mean, I'm not really like... I mean, if we had like the explosion on this, that would be great. Um, let's actually just take this and let's save our money. I mean, we could, we could take it for the road. We can't take it for the road. Okay. I thought we could put the thing in our backpack and then, you know, like we'll figure it out later, but you can't do that. So, um, yeah. All right. Let's go get the boar. Oh no. And the spider. There we go. Let's go here. I do like how complicated the uh, the navigation map can be sometimes. I think it's very um, unique to this game and interesting. And I haven't seen any like non-linear navigation maps before. And I like that sometimes you can go back or you can go to the side, and it's a little tricky like that, like this. It's like a little, it's a little messed up. And I like that. It's very much like you do you. On like a oh no. Okay. Um here. Okay. Oh there we go. Um if I get these, will these do anything for me? No. Okay, what I'm thinking is I go here, I go to the side, I go all the way through. Doesn't that sound like a great plan? We'll see if we can do it though. Yeah, I thought there was going to be a bunch of these little guys. No! Alright, I'm going to try one more time. I think I'm just, like, super tired today. But this is more of a, a showcase of all the new updates that have come out. Rather than a showcase of my, <laughs> of my uh, bullet hell prowess. Um, I do think that this is honestly... Yeah, super fun, super good. No complaints. Just want more. Like, keep going. Keep going. And honestly, the dev is so nice. I really like this dev. I think that they really care about their community. Multicast is interesting. Yeah, you know what? Cast a spell multiple times in a slightly different... Yeah, let's do a multicast. Um, that's all the money that we have for that, but... Yeah, we get a multicast now, which is great, I think. Okay, let's go to this um, elite one. Enemies are faster, but if they are not moving that much, it's fine. Do -do -do -do. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. I think adding to the level of difficulty is like how small these rooms are. But I like the challenge personally. Okay, let's open this up. We got junk. Okay. We'll take the junk relic. Looks like leather or something. Um, which I think is really fun. I think I want to go like up here. Yeah, up here. Let's just go and get a ton of money. Multicast is pretty good, can't lie. Oh no. I wonder how much damage... Oh, it, it does say. The damage is right there. So I'm guessing these spiders must have like 50 health or something. Just based off of like... I saw a 10 and a 20. The music is also really good. Good composition on the music. Very fun. I have it um, oops, really low because I need to be able to hear myself think. <laughs> but um, yeah, highly recommend. If you can't hear it very well on my videos... Please go get this game. It's a free demo right now, and you also can help with the testing process if you're interested. So, very worth, very fun. Okay, oh god, okay, okay, okay. Oh no! Oh man, I need some healing like s yesterday. These stupid spiders. I think, too, maybe it's just been a while since I've played the game, so I'm a little bit out of practice, a little rusty. That happens. I haven't really been playing very many games at all, to be honest. Okay, let's go get these ones that I don't like first. Oh. 
Oh my god, it's the targeting. It's the targeting from all directions. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. In a, a crazy turn of events, I didn't die on that one. You, you go. Uh, I don't have a bomb or anything to do that one, so I can't go through there. So let's go to this shop. And let's see what we get. Alright, we have a bouncy clock. Cast equip projectiles every four times every so often. It has some interesting locked items. But we'll take it. It's bound and it can't be moved. We have a level 2 projectile container and this, but what's interesting is that we can't move it. So I, I don't know. I don't know what that one. That one's very interesting. Um, we're going to put this right here and then we're going to put this right here. If we... Oh, and we'll sell this. Now we have some money. If we put gunpowder trail here, we're going to get those little spaces of four gunpowder trails. I'm pretty sure oh yeah oh yeah i think that's good to have all of that yeah i think that's great okay let's go into our next area um things are gonna get a little sketchy here with the boar but we're gonna just do our best i guess to try and stay out of its way it is already at half health so i think we're doing okay it's interesting that like sometimes it looks like we're almost um oh we're almost slowing it down i'm not sure if that's just my impression all right that was good we are going to curse myself with i mean find two hearts every three unexplored unknown room sounds like a good thing um we'll increase the enemy's health as well especially because i've been dying so much today oh my gosh um casts equipped projectiles when it collides with an enemy it's sharp this one could be interesting with purgatory reach we have teleporting multicast cast each multicast spell further forward interesting um yeah i wish i could afford to refresh the shop but i cannot what i think is smart is maybe taking this guy and taking this guy for now and then doing this we can't we can't really the previous projectile will cast the next spell when destroyed yeah there's there's not much that we can put here yet but I think it'll I think it'll be fine for now. I think it's gonna be fine. We will try and ad address that as soon as we can. Oh my god, how did I I just literally walked into the larva? This is terrible. Oh no. Oh no no no. Just try and get some gold. My strategy in these rooms is crazy. It's literally like don't hit anything. I don't even care if I'm getting the money or not. I'm just like, don't hit anything. Oh my god, okay. We... Do we have bombs? I can't tell. Hold on. Do we have bombs? We do not have bombs. So we're not going to be able to go through there, but I really want the shop. So let's get it this way. Okay, we got to get this guy as soon as we can. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Oh. Oh, danger. So much danger. So much danger. Oh, no. Okay, well. I feel like I, I need to come back to this when I'm not, like, super sleepy. You know, with a little bit more of a fresh hand. Um, I know. It's excuses. It's, it's excuses, but, um, what can I say? I, I really like this game. Hey, if you are watching this and you enjoyed the game, go check out the demo. They're on version 0.8.2. This is constantly being updated. You won't regret. Enjoy, everybody. Have a great day. 
whatever you're doing, wherever you are. Take care and see you next time. Bye.